Hey guys. So, I'm about to review my most hated chapter of Naruto so far. I mean, there have been some chapters that have sucked pretty hardcore. Like, where I've been like, oh, that shouldn't have happened, oh, that's way too convenient. But, or that's taken too long, such as the fight of uh, Pain versus Jiraiya. That fight took too long. But, anyways, this chapter pissed me off to the point where I'm like, I want to kill you, Kishimoto. You can go fuck yourself for making such a dumb chapter. It pissed me off almost as much as the King's Cross Station chapter of Harry Potter number 7. Because everything's so unrealistically convenient, even for a fiction story. <sighs> Harry Potter should not have come back to life. But, anyways. The longer chapter I'm reviewing right now is Naruto chapter 449. So you know how uh, Nagato was doing that jutsu at the end of the uh, previous chapter? Well, we find out what it's called, and I actually had to write it down because I wasn't going to remember it. But it's sort of important to know. Uh, it's uh, Ghetto Rene Tensei no Jutsu. Yes, apparently Nagato's the seventh pain, and he has control over life and death. And apparently, he can bring back everybody to life in the entire village that he somehow killed. He summons a giant ass, like, demon dead thing, and everybody's souls shoot out, and he brings everybody back to life. Seriously. Like, maybe if it were all the people whose souls he sucked out, that would make more sense. But he fucking killed half of these people. It's total bullshit. I mean, Kishimoto had me impressed. I mean, I was fucking impressed when he killed Kakashi and Shizune. Those two characters means he killed two main characters. Now, he totally took that away. Oh, I mean, it's like, if I were to go up and shoot somebody and bring them back to life, would it even matter that I shot them in the first place? I mean, seriously. <sighs> I am so fucking pissed off at this chapter. They had better not pull this bullshit again. <sighs> Anyways. Kakashi forgets his dad. So his dad goes to see his mom. Well, they're dead. And Kakashi comes back to life. And Nagato then dies. And Konan leaves Akatsuki. And she gathers up paint Nagato and Yahiko's body. And is going to take him back to Amegakure. And they're going to help out Konoha to bring peace to the land of ninjas. Woohoo. You can tell how unenthused I am about this bullshit chapter. Yeah. At least in the next chapter, we finally fi figure out why Sasuke isn't at Konoha now, because he was actually taking time to recover. I wonder how blind he is now. He'd be like, oh shit, I can't see. But then again, <laughs> I wonder if he's getting blind faster than Itachi was. Bullshit. This chapter makes me want to fucking kill babies. Actually, no, that's pretty fun anyways, but... <laughs> I'm kidding, I really don't eat babies or kill them or anything. Uh, Kishimoto, you can go fuck yourself.